All right, everybody, this is a additional tutorial, uh, yet again, on the same dress. I have discovered a new happy thing that you can do to um, scale down a tileable texture. See, this one here is rather large. Uh, it would take up the entire grid here and that is way too large for uh, texture on this dress. So I just learned a new trick. If you have a tileable seamless texture I mean then you will take it and we will go into filters uh, map and tile. Um, small tile actually still worked, but it was made my texture blurry for some reason. So I'm going to use regular big tile. And I'm going to do 2048 on this. And being as it's a perfect square, I don't need to kill this chain thing. If I was going to do an odd shape, I would unlink this chain here by clicking it. Anyway, when I do that, both sides switch to the 2048. That's going to repeat it many times. And it's really large now. You can't even see it all in the frame. <clears throat> so I'm going to take an image scale it back down to 2048 I mean back down to 1024 and that's the size I get I'm not sure that's about right for the dress but maybe we should go down even smaller for um, the sake of being cute let's see let's try it one more time filters map tile I'm not going to do it that okay, let's do it again and then image scale it back down to the 1024 and now it's nice and uh, about the right size maybe for this dress we will take in uh, edit, copy this texture, and we'll go to my uh, XCF file that I saved earlier of my project. I can uh, make the flower texture invisible layer. Um, we can even make uh, this one invisible for now. Well, it doesn't really matter if they're invisible or not. We will need to make a new layer, though. And we will be on that layer when we paste in the new gingham. And um, that's basically what it would look like on the dress. Now we need to make the... Uh, we need to make the collar match that. That would be nice. So we will take a sample eyedropper of the pink go back in here to the collar layer oh she's not listening to me it's because I did not anchor it then I go back into the collar area and we will use the magic wand one of my other favorite tools which selects everything on the collar layer Actually, it's selecting everything but the collar. If we want to select that, we need to invert. Select, invert. So now we've only got a hold of the collar. We can go into Paint, Bucket, and drop it in. Easy peasy Japanesey.
So like none. And uh, export that. I believe that's uh, a done deal. We're going to call this tutorial three dress. Mm, going in the wrong place. Cancel, cancel, cancel. I want it on my desktop so I can find it. Now it is on the desktop. I will pause and show you what it looks like in Second Life. And that is the way it looks in Second Life with the gingham texture on it. Um, could still have played around with the belt color. Um, I just left that layer the way it was. Um, so there you have a new way of scaling down a tileable texture in GIMP. Hope that helps somebody too. Stay tuned for more tutorials.